Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Antec Cooler H20920 liquid CPU cooler. So let's start off with some pertinent specs from the outside of the box. Of course you'll want to know what CPU sockets this is compatible with. So down here for Intel LGA sockets, you have LGA 775, 1155, 1156, and 1366. Also, there is a bracket available directly from Antec for the 2011 socket. Uh, as of now, it is not boxed with this unit, but if you do get this and you have a 2011 motherboard, uh, you can contact Antec and they will send you the bracket to make sure you can use it with that socket. For AMD sockets, we have compatibility with AM2 and AM2+, Plus, as well as AM3 and AM3+. Plus. So next up, let's take this out of the box. While I'm at it, I will mention that this cooler is uh, designed by Ace Tech. There's actually a logo here on the back that's powered by Ace Tech. Also, you do get a three-year manufacturer's warranty from Antec for this product. Uh, here inside, we have a uh, software disk, and that will give you that uh, aforementioned uh, temperature monitoring software that we showed you on the back of the box. You also get the instruction manual, which shows you how to install the thing. It's got uh, diagrams here labeled out, so fairly straightforward installation instructions there on the front and the back for the various sockets that this is compatible with. Now here is the radiator and water block and tubing. Here is your mounting hardware. Here is one of your 120 millimeter fans. And here is your other 120 millimeter fan. So here's a look at the hardware that comes along with the Cooler H20920 as far as mounting goes. I'm gonna give a really high level overview for how to install it. Uh, you'll start off with the back plate. This one here is for Intel uh, CPU sockets. This one here on my right is for AMD CPU sockets. Uh, you can mount that to the back of your motherboard. You will, actually not those, you use these little plugs in the back of that, so you will line those up with whichever socket you happen to be using. You fit those into the back and that gives you threading to uh, screw the screws into. Uh, that mounts to the back of your motherboard. You can use these if, uh, included adhesive strips to keep it secured in place while you mount the rest of the bracket. On top of your motherboard goes this retention bracket right there. You will use these little plastic inserts. The blue ones are for Intel, the green ones are for AMD. They simply drop in like that. You line up the screw with whichever socket you're using, and then you use these screws like that to go down through the motherboard and into the uh, grommet that you've included right there. You mount that loosely for starters, and then once you actually secure the uh, CPU cold plate to this bracket right here, you will mount those the rest of the way and make sure they're nice and tight on the motherboard. Finally, you also get the, this little set of screws and washers, and that is uh, these are long screws which are made to mount uh, the, the 120 millimeter fans to the radiator itself. And here's a look at the rest of the hardware for the Cooler H20920. Here are your two 120 millimeter fans. Both of these fans have four pin plugs, and that is to enable the PWM pulse width modulation control. It's available. You can uh, attach both of these, one to either side of the radiator, and that will give you a push-pull configuration, uh, which is very effective, especially for water coolers. The thickness of this radiator at 49 millimeters uh, does a lot to help for more effective cooling. The more surface area that is available on the fins inside that radiator, the more heat can be dispersed across that and dissipated by the fans. And then having both of those fans on there just means you get more airflow across those, again, to increase the cooling effectiveness. Here on the back you can see our uh, intake and out outlet uh, tubes here for the radiator itself. They're very sturdy uh, rubber and there's plenty, there's a 13 inch cable length as mentioned at the beginning. Uh, here are your plugs to keep this entire unit powered. You get one three pin plug and that's to plug into your motherboard. These two plugs right here are actually for either of the fans. You plug both of those into the four pin plugs and that will keep your fans up and running. Finally, there's one additional plug here, and this is actually a five pin USB plug. So you want to plug that into your motherboard, one of the USB headers on your motherboard, and what that will do is enable a little extra bonus feature, which is this Antec logo right here, which you can't see very well, but hey, there it is. Uh, this will actually light up 
Uh, it can do six colors, red, green, blue, white, yellow, and pink, and you can adjust that with the included software from Antec. Finally, here is the cold plate for the water block, and let me just pop this up so you can get a closer look. It's a copper plate. It comes with some thermal paste pre-installed, and this is what you will mount to that bracket, this bracket right here that we showed you earlier. So once that is loosely mounted to your motherboard, you simply insert the bracket like that, twist it so it lines up with those teeth, and then you uh, tighten down the four screws uh, opposite corners on the, on the mounting bracket itself, and that will secure the cold plate to the heat spreader on your CPU. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Antec Cooler H20920 Closed Loop Liquid CPU Cooler, including the double thick radiator as well as the included two 120 millimeter fans. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.